hi uh, in this video i am just going to uh, demonstrate how real time apply is happening on the data guard setup so from the concepts we know that uh, uh, real time apply is nothing but applying the redo log entries directly from uh, standby redo log file without waiting to generate an archive log file on the standby side so by this as soon as the redo entry is getting received on the standby side to the standby redo log file uh, your redo contents are actually applied to the uh, database this is the concept that we have uh, learned so far while uh, learning data guard physical uh, or logical data guard setup but now i will actually prove how is that happening uh, by actually enabling real time apply and by not using real time apply i'll show you the difference how is it happening <clears throat> so let us start uh, seeing uh, i have the data guard set up on the screen as you can see uh, this is one uh, uh, database and this is the another database and let us see the roles of these databases before we go ahead and just see select database underscore role from v dollar database and this is acting like my uh, physical standby let me see the same thing on the next one so this is my primary database so uh, this is my primary database and this is my uh, standby database that is physical standby database and uh, as you people know um, on the physical standby database i'll not be able to uh, let me see if i'm using uh, uh, real time apply or not first on the physical standby side uh, for the current uh, media recovery that is running so let me show that how so on the standby side you will have to write a query like select dist underscore id comma recovery underscore mode from v dollar archive underscore dist underscore status where destination underscore id is equals to one so this is because this is the first destination you can see that it is managed recovery but not real time apply so uh, to show you the difference that uh, as soon as you do modifications on primary side it will be applying on the standby side the first thing i'll have to do is i'll have to have real time apply else i'll not be able to see the changes as soon as first thing is i'll have to enable real time apply else this feature will not be enabled and the next thing is to prove this i'll have to have the database in open state but in read only mode that is called active stand guard sorry active standby database so now i'll have to convert the physical standby database into active standby database and after that i'll prove that how real time apply is working so now first thing i'm bringing down i'm i'm canceling the current recovery happening on this database uh, standby database alter database recover managed standby database cancel so after this i'll open this database only for read only alter database open read only <clears throat> so once this database opens in read only mode i'll start the recovery but recovery now as i have to use real time apply i'll have to add using current control file sorry it should be current read to log file current log file disconnect from session so now i have started real time apply recovery on my standby side so let me see if i have active data guard setup open and also real time in the same fashion i have seen before just give this one yes now you can see instead of just managed you are able to see that managed real time apply so that means your recovery mode is using real time apply now and the next thing is we will have to understand if your database is open in read only mode definitely here you can see that but i want i wanted to see that in terms of output of a query this is select database underscore role from v dollar database which will not give you any difference it will still say uh, it is physical standby only sorry physical standby only it will not say active standby here to show that 
I'll have to query select status from V dollar database again. So if you can see here, so it is not status, it should be open underscore mode because I'm querying V dollar database. There is no column called status, it is open underscore mode from V dollar database. So now if you see you are on physical standby, but your database is opened with read only, but with apply status. That means it is nothing but active data guard setup. This is how you will identify if your standby database is in active data guard setup or not. So now we identified or we have active data guard setup using real time apply. Now I will prove how is that happening uh, on your standby side. Now on this on this one, just see select star from uh, Scott dot department. So this is the entries in Scott dot department. Now see the same entries on the standby side as well. Yes, it is. So let me come back to the primary side and now see what is the current archive log sequence number which is generated on the primary side as well as standby side. So I have the query for that. So let me run for on the primary side. This is the last sequence generated 77. That means 78 is not yet generated. Similarly on standby side 77 is the last one generated and applied to the database. So now they are in sync. But I'm doing a simple insert statement. Insert into Scott.department <coughs> values 70 HR Sri Lanka or something like that. Any country name. Now it is created, right? So it is created on which database? It is on primary side. So let me see that it is there. Yes, I can see that here. So now again try to see what is the current sequence number of archive log generated on your primary side. It should not be 78 because I'm trying to prove only redo apply but not archive log apply at the moment. So let me show you that with the query I have already got. Where am I? So I am in primary height. Yes, it is still 77 but I have done the transaction here. That is one insert statement. Now if you see on the standby side, if you just say select star from scott.department, still it is not affected or it, it is not seen. As you cannot see department number 17 scott.department because you have did not committed the transaction. So let me commit the transaction here to just say it is yes. So now if you run the same query on primary, there should not be any difference. 70 is the new line that you have entered on the primary side. Now if you run the same query on the secondary standby side, see 70 HR Sri Lanka has come. But what is the sequence, archive log sequence on uh, primary side and the standby side? Still the new sequence is not generated on either primary side, it is still 77 and on the standby side still it is 77. This proves that your, your transactions are not applying after the archive log generation. But the transactions are applying as soon as they are transferred from the primary standby online standby redo log files to your standby database standby redo log files. And this is how your real time apply works. And uh, you have to understand one thing, one more thing that people have got some illusions saying that if you do not use real time apply, Definitely the transactions are applied from archive log files, but people have got illusion saying your uh, archive logs are always transferred from the primary database to the standby database and then from there it, uh, it the transactions are applied to the standby database. No, that is not the concept. So the concept is on the standby database archive logs are generated they are not actually copied from your primary. Your archive logs are generated from the contents in your standby redo log files and after they are generated on the standby database side, they are applied to the database if you are not using real time apply. 
So let me uh, show what happens if you are not using real time apply. That means I'll have to bring down the database from active data guard setup. So sorry, it should be in active data guard setup, but I should not use real time apply. So on the standby side, now I will remove the active data guard. Sorry, it should be active data guard, but I'll be removing real time apply. So now on the standby side, you can see that I have disc I have cancelled the transactions and uh, uh, I was I was actually I did I did the reboot, but do you ignore this? Now the recovery is now without uh, the real time apply. So now I sh I should also run a query to prove that on the standby side there is no real time apply happening. I'll do that now. So if you see that it is physical standby with read only with apply, that means it is active standby database. If you see from the status, it is managed recovery. That means I am not using real time apply. So I have re uh, disabled real time apply on the standby side. Now I'll be performing another transaction on the same uh, table. But now see the transaction should go like this. 80 to another transaction. So it's administration and it is India. So now you just say select star from Scott dot department. So here I have 80 admin India. That is a new transaction I have done and do the same thing on here. You don't have that yet. That's fine. Now what is the archive log generation sequence on uh, primary and standby now? Just give a look on it. Now see this is on primary side. It is 78 and it is applied and see on the standby side it is 78 and it is applied. So that means the current transaction whichever you have done is now gone to 79th archive log sequence. Now until and let's see now if you just give the same thing here on standby. Yes you don't see that but though you give commit here you cannot see that result here see. I have run the same statement again. You cannot see 80 here. But in real time apply as soon as you have given committed on the primary side you, you were able to see the transaction results on standby side. But now in this setup you don't see that at all. Now just say alter system switch log file. That means you are changing or you are actually generating 79th archive log sequence. Now ch check that here. Yes, 79th is generated on the primary side. Let me go to the standby side now and see. Yes, 79th archive log sequence has been generated on the standby side as well as it is applied. Now as 79th archive log sequence is applied to this standby database, that means the transaction which I have done in that archive log, it should be reflected in this table, right? So let me see that now. Yes, it is reflected. So this is how I prove how your real time apply works uh, with enabling it and without enabling it with the help of very simple example and uh, this is how it works. So thanks for listening to me and uh, many of such videos you can find it in my uh, Facebook page or skill academy and uh, you, you will be getting a regular updates on these uh, videos which are interesting and something like a very basic concepts on all these technologies will be covered on time to time basis in my page and if somebody else is looking for a real time coaching on any of these uh, technologies you can reach me out and you can see all the contact numbers and all the ways that you can reach me you can call me you can sms whatsapp or email me or just message me on the what, uh, facebook and i'm happy to serve you thank you have a nice day